Welcome again guys, welcome to another biology problem and this is time, this is not going to be a mathematical problem but it's very analytical one. So let's talk about it. The Tm which is the melting temperature of a DNA measured in 0.15 molar NaCl was 60 degrees Celsius. What will be the Tm which is also melting temperature compared to the 60 degrees Celsius it measured in presence of 0.15 molar NaCl and 0.5 molar urea. So what is the phenomena? They measured the melting temperature or Tm of the DNA first time in the presence of only 0.15 molar NaCl and the second time in presence of 0.15 molar NaCl and 0.5 molar urea. Right? Because you know NaCl is a disrupting agent for DNA, urea is also a destabilizing agent for DNA. So urea destabilizes DNA, melts DNA that means they uh, you know break those hydrogen bonds that are present in between the adjacent I mean, I mean the the complementary strand as a result strands separates that's called the denaturation of the DNA it can be caused by NaCl it can be caused by urea now if we treat DNA with only NaCl it gives us the temp value of Tm 60 degrees Celsius if we do the same thing in presence of sodium chloride as well as urea you know the effect will be higher because we are adding two denaturating agent instead of one so definitely uh, it will take some lower temperature to do that. I mean, look at here now. Now, the TM or melting temperature means the temperature at which half percentage of the DNA or half of the DNA just separated from the complementary strand. That is the temperature called melting temperature, right? So now try to imagine we are having DNA. We are having DNA here like that. Let me draw it like that. DNA. Now, in the 60 degrees Celsius temperature in presence of NaCl, that DNA completely destabilized and two strands completely separated. That is the scenario, right? 60 degrees Celsius is required to separate them apart along with the denaturing agent NaCl. Now, if we put NaCl along with the same molar NaCl along with 0.5 molar urea, so we are efforting to separate those strands, right? We're trying to separate the strands more because strand separation will be will be in this, you know uh, strand separation will be encouraged by the presence of NaCl and urea more than the presence of only NaCl so now we are helping those strands to be separated even more faster than the previous time right so obviously what temperature they will took to separate this time obviously less temperature because you know in the in both the cases we have two important ingredients one is the chemical denaturing agents another one is the temperature that is also a denaturing agent right so in this case if we add our chemical ingredients more to denature the dna obviously we we'll, we take less temperature to do that right is that make sense definitely so in that case if we use nacl along with urea the melting temperature that we require to melt the dna will be much lower than 60 degrees celsius so the answer will be lower not higher no change or not zero so it will be lower right sometimes people think that the melting temperature means obviously the temperature which is required to melt the DNA actually here the melting temperature will be obviously the temperature to melt half of the DNA but remember if we put this denaturing agent urea along with NaCl it's already helping it right than the previous time so that's why it will be melt so earlier if we won't require 60 degree and now we only require lower than 60 degree to melt right but if we drag this NaCl out of the situation and only depends on the temperature then the melting temperature will further increase then the TM will be more right so that is the concept 